everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our final two figures in WWE Elite Series 74 with Goldberg and Natalya, as well as ranking this set, you guys know, in our final two figures of the new waves that release, we always do a ranking system. We rank the figures in the set from worst to best in my own personal opinion, so stay tuned to the end of the video for that. If you would like to grab either of these figures or any of the figures we've reviewed today, we are posting all of Elite Series 74 here today, so definitely check out all of the reviews so you guys can check out what you like and don't like about the new figures. And if you want to grab them, go over to WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles, the ones who made this video possible and sent us these figures our way. Thank you guys so very much for that. But go over there and use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. I appreciate everyone who uses it, and you will get an automatic shout-out on the story if you do use the code. But both of these figures look great. I wanted to pair them together. I figured that uh, you know, one thing I will say, guys, is that I'm very excited to finally replace the worst figure in my collection. Collection. My least favorite figure in my collection is this god-awful, just god-awful Natalia Basic that today we can finally throw in the dumpster and snap her head off because we can finally replace her stiff-ass, loosey-goosey, piece-of-shit trash awfulness with a beautiful elite figure of Natalia that I'm very excited to do. You guys can tell I'm pretty passionate about it, but these figures look awesome, guys. We're going to go ahead and dive into the review. You can see the front viewing window here. On the side, you get a great smile from Natalia. You get a stern face from Bill. On the back, you do get a little bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it right now. Rest of the figures on the side, you get Natalia face and Bill Goldberg salad. On the front, you get the same thing we saw at the beginning of the video, and I think that does it for their packaging, guys. So now that we have done that. Let's go ahead and crack Goldberg and Natalia out of their packaging. So here is Goldberg and Natalia out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty swell, I might say. I think every figure in this set, it seems like every set nowadays is just a banger, if I am if I do say so myself. I mean, I can't remember the last set where I was just like, God dang, this this set's not very good. Probably Elite Series 68, if, I, if I'm being honest with you. I'm being real with you. I think Elite Series 68 was probably the last set where I was like, eh. But since then, they have been kicking ass. Mattel has just been kicking ass this year with the releases, guys. So... They're continuing it here with Elite Series 74. And if you guys have missed out on the other reviews from today, definitely go check them out. But what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to run through Natalia's accessories and then Natalia, and then we're going to run it back, break down Goldberg's accessories and then Goldberg, and then we are going to rank Elite Series 74 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. So let's go ahead and do that and get started with Natalia's accessories. So getting into Natalia's accessories, guys, you will see she does come with interchangeable hands as the women do include interchangeable hands, and she does just come with interchangeable fists. Out of the packaging, she does come with mic holding hands, so those are nice to see. Uh, also, her other accessory is this little cat ears, or these little cat ears, and I cannot believe they actually got the text on there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to read that text. I mean, my God, look how tiny that is. Jesus Christ, I don't even know if I can get it to focus. But I think it's supposed to say Natty Cat, and then something else on the left side. I'm not sure what it's supposed to say. Paws out, claws out, I think, or something like that. But that just sticks on the head of the figure, as you guys can see right here. So it just kind of sticks down in there and holds on to the figure. And then her last accessory is basically this just big rubber shoulder piece that's sort of like shoulder pads you guys kind of saw there you just plop it on there and that is pretty much it I mean not much else to say about that that is pretty much it for Natalia's accessories guys so now that we've covered Natalia's accessories let's take a closer look at Natalia herself so on to Natalia, guys. You will see, I think they captured her likeness beautifully. I think it does look a lot like Natalia. I think they did a really excellent job on it. I think it looks a lot better than her last basic that we saw. And I do think that this figure got canceled a couple times, if I'm not mistaken. It was supposed to come with, you know, her, her uh, a cloth t-shirt of her cat or whatever. And uh, I, I think that uh, this figure is great. I think they did a really good job on it. I like the hair mold that we got going on. All of this stuff that you see here, all these pink strands, all these studs, the zipper... Everything on the back here is actually hand sculpted. All of this is sculpted. All of this stuff on the chest and everything is sculpted. And I think they did a great job on it. It feels really good. It feels sturdy and everything. Um, I think the women's figures have improved vastly. And uh, it just gets closer and closer to us, including women in the pick pad. I think that's a real possibility. Now that we're expanding our rosters, I mean, we got a lot of double jointed knees women coming in here. And I think that we have a really good shot here in the next year or so. We could include some women in the pick pad. But going down, guys, I 
I love the attire. I like the black and pink. I mean, that's pretty much what Natty has always rocked. I think the arms could probably be a little bit bigger, but I'm not going to deduct any football points from it. Um, I love the double jointed knees. You guys know that's excellent. We love to see it. I feel like uh, it, the last four series, I think we've had women included, and they all have double jointed knees, so we'd love to see that. That is that is absolutely fantastic. Or did it start in 72? Maybe it just started in 72 with Becky Lynch, um, which we did see it with the Elizabeth back in the day, but anyways, going down, guys, it's just plain black kick pads. One thing, the next step that the women's figures need to take is we need to see ankle pivot. Ankle pivot are gonna, is going to help these figures a lot, so we do want to see ankle pivot in the future, but overall, I think they killed this Natalia figure, man. I think it's a really strong figure, and I'm excited for it, but now that we have done Natalia's figure itself, let's take a closer look at some Natalia figure comparisons. So for Natalia figure comparisons, guys, this has been my least favorite figure in my collection for a really long time. This basic Natalia that's like a big solid piece of plastic. Like, look at the legs. You push the legs together and they pop right out. She doesn't stand half the time. She doesn't have any ankle articulation. You can't point her foot down. She's single jointed. Um, her arms does not have bicep swivel. It has the elbow swivel. The hands really uh, don't have a hinge at all. They don't hinge up and down. She has no ab movement at all. It's just a big, ugly piece of garbage. Get it out of my face. Like, look at these head sculpts. The difference is just fantastic. This one is so much better. Get this out of my face. Face, Brad. So I'm super happy to finally have a replacement for that figure, man. They, you don't realize how just how great it is to just be able to stand this figure up, to pose this figure around, to have a great Natalia figure, man. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much, Mattel. Thank you so much for replacing that god-awful basic with this excellent, beautiful Elite 74 Natalia figure. So for Goldberg's accessories, guys, not much to get into. You get a big gold world heavyweight championship, and I mean that's I mean pretty much that's the basis of his accessory. You get one world heavyweight championship, and then you get these mic holding glove hands. And on the packaging, out of the packaging, he does come with the glove choke slamming hands. I'm guessing that is because of the uh, you know the Undertaker. It's just a really easy easy mold to make. I would say give us like a throat cut hand for, you know, after he hits him with the jackhammer or the spear. I think that would be a really cool uh, uh, accessory to have, you know, have a uh, right hand, like a thumb, like we've seen from Cedric Alexander or something like that to, you know, symbolize that. But that is pretty much it for Goldberg's accessories, guys. Pretty safe and self-explanatory. So with that being said, let's move on to Goldberg himself. So getting into Goldberg, guys, you will see that we do have a screaming expression face for this Goldberg and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think overall it came out all right. One thing I will say is there's no teeth painted on the top jaw. I don't know. I guess if you do... Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that's accurate or not. If you you know open your mouth and did that, maybe that's accurate for Goldberg. Uh, but I think it looks okay. I think it looks all right. Nothing too crazy. We've seen this figure before, or we've seen two Elite Goldbergs before with the main event Raw ring, and then we did see the entrance greats. And this is a uh, mid 2000s. This is a ruthless aggression era Goldberg. So we have one Goldberg from every era. Era. We have a WCW Goldberg. We have the ruthless aggression Goldberg, and then we have more of a current day Goldberg. So that's pretty cool to see all three phases is completed, which we will see in the next segment of the video where we compare all of them. And uh, you guys can see we have the half white, half black trunks. Pretty nice going on. Elbow pads, signature tattoo on there, and the inner bicep. We do have the gloved hands, obviously, for Goldberg. He is on ball joints like his other uh, uh, other figures were. I almost said other footballs. That wouldn't have made any sense whatsoever, but does it ever. Going down, we do have the nice knee pads and the short boot look, and I do, uh, I like this Goldberg figure, and I will say that uh, there's not the, there's not a lot going on with it. We do get the screaming expression. I think it's going to be cool for action figure photography. I, I know that MBG and Squared Circle are going to kill it with all of that. I mean, there's plenty of other photographers. LSA, SL less animations and dark rain and other guys are going to kill it with the photography with this Goldberg so I am excited to see that but uh, on the back we do get the half black half white on there with the contrast I always like these trunks a lot and I'm very happy to finally have it from Mattel because you know we had the uh, black and white and then we had or just the you know the white trim with the black and then we had the regular black and now we have the final attire I think we were missing so that's pretty cool to see but that's pretty much it for our Goldberg elite figure uh, depth in depth 
in-depth review right here, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do some Elite Figure Goldberg comparisons. So taking a look at some Elite Figure comparisons, guys, we do have my custom Elite Goldberg right here made after this exact figure right here, the Elite 74. And this was made by Beast Nation, my boy James, over on Instagram. And I will say, I like the formula he used a lot better. He used like the Hillbilly Gym formula with like the Stone Cold lower legs. And I think it just works better for a Goldberg. I just like the, you know, uh, the proportions are better. Um, I like the non-defined like look of him. I like the hairy chest and everything um, with the Jax head sculpt on there. Great looking Jax head sculpt, by the way. And uh, that is the reason why I don't think I'll ever get rid of this custom is I just like the way it looks. I just like the way this looks um, a lot better than uh, this, this formula that Mattel uses. Um, I'm not sure exactly why they give us this. I guess it's just because, you know, Hillbilly Gems was like a one-off. I know that uh, it seems like they use certain torsos for certain heights, and Hillbilly Jim and Kane are sort of, I guess, the same height or close to the same height, so they wanted to use that same torso mold, but um, I like this formula a lot better, and then of course we have the comparison between the entrance grates in the middle, and then we have the main event raw ring, uh, you know, 2017 Goldberg over here, and I like all three of them. I think they're great, and it's cool to see three different elite-style Goldbergs from Mattel uh, ever since he came back to the company to pump those out to us. I really can't see, you know, what uh, Goldberg were missing now. What, what else is there to miss? You could easily buy another one of these or a basic Goldberg and pop the head over here to get different looks. You could customize this beard for this one or this one or, or vice to do head swaps and stuff. So very easy and fixable things to do with these Goldbergs now that we have this one. And I can't think of another Goldberg we would need from his entire run. All right, guys, it is that time of the video where we are going to rank Elite Series 74 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. And before we start the countdown, guys, of course, just because I put something at the worst figure in the set, it does not mean that I don't like the figure or I don't want the figure or just get this figure out of my face. It just means that it's not as good as the other ones in my own personal opinion. So with that said, guys, let's go ahead and start our countdown. At number six, I am personally going to put the Goldberg figure at number six. Now, the only reason this comes at number six, guys, is I think that the rest of the set is just so strong. I mean, I do like this Goldberg figure, but uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just not doing it for me. The head sculpt's not as good as other head sculpts. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's the worst in the set in my personal opinion. So I went with Goldberg at number six. At number five, guys, this one was actually pretty tough for me, but ultimately it came down to a couple things, and I think I want to go with Lince Dorado. Now, I do like this Lince Dorado a lot. I really do. I think it's a really strong figure, but at the end of the day, I don't like it as much as the other figures. I don't know if it's because I'm not as big of a fan of Lince Dorado. I couldn't tell you what the reasoning is, but uh, I do think it is better than the Goldberg. I like it more than the Goldberg, so I went with Lince Dorado at number five. For number four, guys, I am going to go with Natalia. Now, this figure was really excellent. I think it's great. I think it's one of the better women's figures of the year by far, and uh, the double-jointed knees, all the detail they put in this, the head sculpt, I mean, it's damn near perfect. Um, one thing that I will deduct is that the, you know, it's just the, the ankle pivot for me. The ankle pivot is something I don't like, and I know that women Women's figures just don't have it just yet, but I did want to say that I think it is, uh, I wanted to give it credit, you know, I don't think it should be as high as Kyrie Sane was, but uh, I, I do like it a lot, and that is why it is number four. For number three, this one was actually pretty tough, but ultimately, I am going with AJ Styles. I'm going with AJ Styles. I think it's a really good head sculpt. Um, it is missing the chest hair, which is really not really a deducted point, I don't think, but it is something worth noting. I like the attire. It's AJ Styles. It comes with good accessories. Even though we get the rubber shirt, it's still a really good accessory for the vest, and uh, overall, just a strong figure, man. It's got the great head sculpt. So AJ Styles comes at number three, and who is going to take the top spot? I'm sure you guys already know this, but I am going to go with Andrade at number two and Finn Balor at number one. I think this is pretty obvious why these guys are at the top. I mean, look at their accessories. Look at their head sculpts. Um, I said it before that when this figure was first, or when he first wore this attire at the Royal Rumble, I wanted a figure of it. They released it. They gave us a cloth accessory. Yes, the torso isn't my favorite. I would prefer the Sin Cara torso, but I'm not going to deduct that many points given the accessories, the attire, the head sculpt. And then this Finn Balor's damn just perfect. I mean, it's a perfect figure from head to toe. Um, I don't think they could have done anything any better really with it. Um, besides giving him a thicker beard, but we are already knew what we were getting with this head sculpt. I love the smiley fin head sculpt. I love the leather jacket. The uh, attire is great, and we finally got white kick pads and a different color attire rather than black for Finn Balor. <laughs> 
uh, almost vomited. But uh, for a non-demon Finn Balor, it is a perfect figure. So it's undoubtedly the best figure in the set for me. So that is it for ranking Elite Series 74 from worst to best. But I think that is going to finally do it for our two-in-one review of Natalia and Goldberg from Elite Series 74. I had a ton of fun reviewing this entire set. I would highly, highly, highly recommend the Natalia figure. If you want a Ruthless Aggression era Goldberg for the attire, then you may want to grab this figure. But I think that the main event Raw Ring Goldberg or the WCW Goldberg actually work better or the entrance grades, whatever you want to call it. I think those figures will do just fine for you if you uh, want to get that. I mean, that one already came with a World Heavyweight title. We already have the old Berg from the main event Raw ring, so you may want to keep those. But if you want to pick up any of the figures from Elite Series 74, you want to pick up any of the figures from WrestlingFigures.com, you want to get in on all those epic sales, guys. Get some great figures for really, really cheap. Go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS. Save yourselves 10%. Again, a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making all of the reviews possible that we've done here today on Elite Series 74. I had a ton of fun reviewing the full set. Doing the full set all in one sitting and reviewing all of them is a very big grind guys like it's I mean you got to see that each review is 15 to 20 minutes long that means it took at least 25 minutes to edit all three of them that's an hour right there it took at least 30 minutes to film each one there so that's two and a half hours all together and then you have render time and upload time I mean it takes probably three and a half four hours to get all of these reviews plus all of the editing plus all of the uploading of all of these done so I really appreciate you guys watching them from start to finish I appreciate you guys who watch all only my reviews or look forward to my reviews when I post them up if they are a little bit later than other reviewers. I appreciate that so much, more than you will ever know, and I appreciate you guys for watching all the reviews. If you guys missed out on AJ Styles and Finn, Andrade and Lince Dorado, or uh, I, I don't know how the hell you would have missed out on this review if you're seeing this right now, but uh, go check out the rest of the reviews, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you thought of the full set. Go over to Ringside Collectibles and grab these figures, and what would you personally rank Elite Series 74? from worst to best in your own personal opinion I would like to know down in the comment section below but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you almost shat